what the cane's gonna look like today. Hopefully we get some nice pieces. Yeah. Long, um, yeah. wide joints. Maybe the rain sort of cleaned them up a little bit. Hopefully the snakes are gone. Yeah, main thing. See that one right over here? My name is Vivian Garner Cottrell, and I'm a Cherokee National Treasure. Probably about five years ago, that's when I began doing my research on the river cane. It straight. is, yeah, it's fairly straight. It's a little bent down at the bottom, but I'll cut that one off, but it's taller up top. Okay. The pictures of the old weavers, you saw a river cane that they're weaving double weave baskets and their splints are yards long. And I'm like, I want to do that. Got it? Yeah. All right. Back through the jungle. And my husband helps me run. He he uh, he lops it and he you know helps me uh, trim it up a little bit and then split it. I always give my mother credit for my ability. I was taught to weave by my mother, Betty Scraper Garner. Mom and I went out and gathered honeysuckle and, and boat brush and learned to, to prepare it and to dye it and then weave it. It was um, a special mother and daughter relationship. We were weaving together for 25 years and she was also honored as a national treasure in 1993. Look. See what kind of walnuts we can find. A pretty good one. We just squeeze the, the dye out of it and we'll get those ready. When you were little, Granny always made it a game for you and uh, to, to gather as many of the green walnuts as you could find. Granny used to have the big pots sitting out and right. soaking, and uh, we'd go yeah. and play in it and yeah. get in no. trouble. I, we didn't, I didn't know they were I know. She would tell and, you. I guess it was always around. You know, we always did our arts, so they were always exposed to it. I had um, my two sons and my daughter. They could weave. The, the weaving part is real easy. It's just the processing is what takes so much. I'm going to be splitting it in half first. And my wrist has to stay very straight and taut when I come to a joint. We've got to get it down thinner and thinner. I'll split the cane again and force for it to be more pliable. Then when I'm ready, I gather enough river cane, then we start dyeing it. We'll see what color of uh, the orange shade it makes. But we have two dyes that we mostly use. It's bloodroot and the black walnut that we gathered. The diagonal weave is very challenging. I can look at a, a real pretty pattern and and I start counting. This one starts with 108 splints. And then these are the splints on the outside. I've added half of them um, in blood root. Those are the, the orangey colors. You know, we do have our, our patterns that we do. Noonday sun, double piece pipe. I have Chief's daughter here on the top. Man in the Coffin, uh, Chief's Heart. That's one of my favorite patterns to weave. When you're able to take um, a gift from nature and then create a, 
a useful object. It's a, it's a great accomplishment. It's been provided for us in order for us to provide for ourselves. It's all interwoven. Mm -hmm. And going forward, it's still pushing, still pushing it. Yeah. When I die, I hope they say I was a good mom, good wife, uh, grandmother, good friend. And she could weave a good basket.